Okay, so today Ryder and I are going to play Catan for two. So this special scenario comes with the Traders and Barbarians expansion. Um, Ryder's going to be green, I'm going to be blue, and we have brown on the table because you can have, you have to have, one or two neutral players. So our neutral player is going to be brown. You also need these Catan chits. So these chits are a way to trade. You can force trade with any player and you can move the robber back to the desert. And we'll explain that more when we play. So we're gonna speed it up a bit while we set up the board. And it's gonna be completely random, so the desert might not even be in the middle. So we'll set it up and we will be right back. got the board set up. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is your neutral player. So remember, brown is neutral. Nobody is actually playing brown. So the first thing you want to do is put one settlement right there. So in the instruction booklet, it shows you where to place. If you were playing with two neutral players, it would be a different color but your other one would go right there. So those are the two places for the neutral players. We are only playing with one neutral player, so that is where we're going to place brown. You also start the game with five Catan chits. So Ryder gets five, and I get five. So remember, these are used in two different ways. You can force trade with somebody, so you can pay one or two, depending on how many victory points you have, to force somebody to give you two cards, and you give them two cards as well. The other thing you can do with one or two, depending on victory points, is move the robber back to the desert. So I was saying that it's one or two to do those things. It would cost you one Catan chit to do those things if you had less or the same amount of VPs than the other player. If you have the most VPs in the game, doing those actions would cost you two Catan chits. So Ryder and I will place our settlements Let's see. I got a five. Oh, Ryder got a six. So Ryder is going to place first, and we will come back once we're set, once we're settled. Okay. So we have placed. We're now going to pick up for the last settlement that we placed. So I placed. Come on. Pick up my cards. So you can gain more Catan chits in one of four different ways. One, if you have any knight cards in front of you, you can discard them and gain two trade tokens. So these are also called trade, cho trade tokens in this game. You can also get two trade tokens if you build a settlement on the desert. Not a city, just a settlement. You gain one trade token if you build on the coast. And if you build on both the desert and the coast, and in our game, we happen to have two spots here, here, or here, but I don't know why you would do that except for the harbor. So if you build 
in one of these four places, you would get three trade tokens. So we'll go ahead and start play and we'll pause kind of whenever we're using these trade tokens or when the neutral player starts to build. We'll unpause then to walk you through that. Okay, so I also forgot one of the most important things is that you actually roll twice. So Ryder rolled an eight there and, I, and he forgot too. He's like, yeah, I forgot that part. So he rolled an eight. So now he's going to roll a second time. He rolled a 10. So had he rolled an eight, he would have rolled until he got something different. You cannot roll the same number twice. Okay, so the neutral player is going to start playing right away. So Ryder just paid a brick and a wood to build a road. So go ahead and place that Ryder. So now he gets to place a road for the neutral player as well. So he gets to place that wherever he wants off of the neutral player's settlement. So strategically, he would build it towards me to cut me off if he thinks I'm going in a specific direction. So that is how the neutral player grows. Every time you build a road, the neutral player gets a road. The same goes with settlements, and we'll stop it again then later. However, if you build a city or buy a development card, the neutral player does nothing. Okay, so Ryder rolled a five, and then he rolled another five. So he's going to have to roll a third time. So we only collect from one of the fives. And now he rolled a 12. Okay, so I paid to build a settlement. So I'm going to build my settlement right there. Now, when I build a settlement, that means the neutral player also gets to build a settlement. However, because of Catan rules, he cannot build a settlement in any legal location. So that means he gets a road instead. Okay, so this time I built a settlement, so, and there is a free place that the neutral player can build, so he's going to build a settlement right there. Okay. Also, the neutral player has gained Longest Road. So we're going to take Longest Road, and we're going to move it out of play. Now, we can steal it back from the neutral player, but as of right now, it's no longer in the game. The Longest Road and the Harbor Master, if you're using it, would be the two that he could, he, the neutral player could steal from you. So just be warned of those points. It should be impossible for the neutral player to win this game because they can't build cities. Um, it's basically just prohibiting your opponent from getting all those extra points. All right. So I'm going to actually use some trade tokens. So I am in the lead. I have the most VPs. So I'm going to have to use two trade tokens to do this. And I am going to force trade with Ryder. Okay, so this is how that works. I choose which two I'm going to give to Ryder. And normally, I would, if he had more cards in his hand, I would randomly choose two, but he only has two. And what are the odds? This is what I stole from him. And this is what I gave him. Seriously. So it's a waste of two. That was a waste of two trade tokens right there. I was hoping to get more variety in my hand because that's literally all I have is wood and wheat. 
So I was hoping for more variety, but that did not work. Ryder built a settlement on the coast, so he gets one trade token. Okay, so I just built a city and just a reminder that the neutral player does not build cities. So the neutral player gets nothing when you upgrade to a city. Just a reminder, so they can only use roads and settlements. All right, and that is the game. I didn't even do this. Nope. So, Ryder won. So he got one, two, three, four, five. And then just push those out there. He got six, seven, eight, nine for largest army and harbor master. And then 10, 11 for his two victory points. So, that's the game. So keep playing, have fun, and if you like the if if there's only two of you and you love Catan and you don't have you know people over to play with you, get the Traders and Barbarians expansion because this is an amazing way to play Catan with two players. <laughs>